how you like it, yeah It's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here. And if you've been rocking with me for a minute, what's up? What's good? Welcome back. So today I have a unit that was sent to me by Sam's Beauty. Thank you, Sam's Beauty, for sponsoring this video. This unit is by Bobby Boss, and her name is Jacintha. This is Jacintha here, and she comes in like an array of pretty colors, I like that. Jacintha is a 13 by seven frontal. She does come with a transparent HD lace. She has a custom plucked natural hairline. She has baby hairs and she has a flex fit cat, which is supposed to be good for comfort. She does come with an elastic band and she is heat safe up to 400 degrees. Let me just give you a quick 360. All right, so let's just dive right into the pros of Jacintha. One pro to this unit is the ample parting space. If you like to play with your wigs and you like to style them, 13 by seven, a 13 by seven frontal gives you ample space. I mean, the parting is going back all the way to the back of the crown of my head. This is where I feel the first track. So you have a lot of room. I also do like the general style of Jacintha. I love large barrel curls. It does kind of remind me of the curls on Bobby Boss Kylie, which is one of my favorite Bobby Boss units. And yeah, the curls are pretty. Now, as far as the lace, I would say the lace is a pro once it's blended down. Like you see this, ignore that, but <laughs> it's blended down pretty nicely, but it took a lot of work and we'll get into that later. Also, I'm surprised at the cap size. I would say that's a pro because it feels more big head friendly. Normally, Bobby Boss caps air on the smaller side. I don't know if that's a new thing that they're doing, but this flex fit cap, I think this is a win for multiple head sizes. Now, let's talk about the cons, okay? Because Jacinta looks real pretty, but she's getting on my nerves. Mm -hmm. I know this is a synthetic wig, right? Keep in mind the price tag. This is one of those $50 units, 55, 56, something like that. So I, I know what I'm paying for. Like I'm paying for this ample parting space. I'm supposed to be paying for HD lace, but all this tangling that comes with it is just, it's a lot. Like for me to be paying in the $50 range, I feel like I should be getting a human hair blend of some sort. Bobby Boss has another unit. It's their original mix series, M-O-W, I'll, I'll list it in the description box. I reviewed one of their units in the natural straight. That wig is bomb. I have worn it time and time and again. It's a human hair blend. It feels 
like real hair. It's yakky. I mean, it's, it's just an awesome fiber mix that they use. So I'm like, why don't you, Bobby Boss, use that on every one of these HD Lace transparent units? That would be nice. I mean, is it like a money thing? You gotta ch charge a few more dollars for that because it's HD Lace too, I don't know. The fibers on this, you know, feel like the same ones on $30 some $20 units, you know what I mean? There's no difference. I definitely know I'm not paying for that. <laughs> All this tangling I'm getting, like, oh, look at that. This is fresh out the pack, okay? I expect tangling with my synthetic units. I just rather not happen right away, like out the pack. I don't like that. So that's definitely a con. Another con for me is just the lace itself. Like I get it, it's HD lace, and I guess HD lace on synthetic wigs it's just white so it took a lot of work you want to see the products i used one two three four five i used like five different things in order to get this lace to blend to me that's freaking ridiculous ah my god body boss come on i mean i get it it's a synthetic wig i went through the same thing with body boss cava i reviewed that unit like over a month ago and once I got it together, the lace laid beautifully, like it's doing right now. It was just the work was, ooh, it was it was a lot. So that does deter me from purchasing a wig like this because I know I normally gravitate towards one. I don't gravitate towards frontals. Like if I'm going out, I'm fine with just a regular lace front wig. But if I'm gonna do a frontal like this, I'd just rather it be a brown lace, to be honest. The HD transparent lace, you know, I get it, but it's not a necessity for me. It looks good, let's let's get in there again. It is looking good, but uh, I don't know. Please let me know what you think about this lace in the comments down below, because I know quite a few of my wig base have tried wigs from this line, and I'm still up and down about it. Like, as much as I loved Kava and everything on Jacinta, I feel like it took even more work. I don't know why. Like, why did I have to use all that stuff? Maybe because I'm in natural lighting now. I think that's what it is. I'm in natural lighting and I was looking clockable and I wasn't feeling that. Like, I had to go downstairs, my bathroom, come back up. Oh, I was going through it. You saw all those products I had to use, so. I mean, <sighs> I'm tired. <laughs> One more con, I noticed the curls here are going this direction, which I like. I like when the curls go this way. But then on this side, it's like this one's going this way, then you have this one going this way. Like, pick a direction. I don't like when the curls go this way, so automatically I'm just like, okay, it's not matching up. I don't know, y'all, I had a lot of high hopes for Jacintha, especially after I saw her in XOXO Shiba. She looked gorgeous in this wig, my God. I'm going to link her video in the description box because it looks so good. And also, if you are of a lighter complexion, you can see how it looks on her. But she did also speak on, you know, the amount of work it took with the lace. So it's up to you, pick your poison, you know what I mean? Overall, I do think I look good right now. I, I like this red lip. Y'all feeling the red lip in the denim? Let me know. And in case you're wondering, this is Cherry Blossom by Colored Rain. My favorite red of all time. Hands down, best red. It's a blue-based red, and it fits any skin tone to perfection. I love this red on me, especially as a brown girl. Love it. So, yeah. She's looking pretty good. I want to style her, but I'm just not looking forward to all this tangling I'm about to get. Like, I want to see her half up, head down. Let me try that real quick. Ooh, like this is pretty. You see this action I'm giving right here? This like, this like, um, what you call it? Flip over action, like that's cute. <gasps> I should take a picture. I was going to do half up, half down, and then I was like, ooh, wait, this is nice. This whole flip over thing I got going on. Yes, Gladys. 
I'm gonna keep this for a minute. So yes, please let me know how, what you feel about this hair in the comments down below. How do you feel about the style, the texture? If you have her, how did you feel about her personally? Talk to me in the comments because you know I love when y'all talk to me. And if you are new here, tap that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos coming up. We are on the road to 10K and I'm so excited. So if you've been joining me, welcome. And to everyone who's been rock with me, all my love to you. Thank you for joining me for this video. Premiere Squad, I see you, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye.